everyone, my name is Scuba Ellie and I am a Paddy instructor and I'm here today to talk to you about your frequently asked questions about becoming a dive professional. What's the difference between a dive master, master scuba diver and instructor? Well, let's start first with Master Scuba Diver. This certification is not a professional. What it is, is that you've done enough specialty courses to gain the elite title of being a Master Scuba Diver. It's basically a really great way of explaining to someone that you're an experienced diver that really cares about your training. Next, we have Dive Master, and this is a professional qualification. So this is the first step into becoming a Paddy Instructor, if that's where you want to end up. Paddy Dive Master is not qualified to teach, However, they are qualified to take people on guided tours of the area. So if you've ever been on holiday, you might have had a guide and that is often a dive master that will take you diving. You might have also seen a dive master assisting you on a course maybe. Dive masters learn in their training how to assist instructors that in the best way possible. A paddy instructor is someone who can teach you how to dive. So a paddy open water instructor might have taught you your open water course, they can teach you your advanced course, they can teach you a rescue course and many many more how long does it take to become a dive master okay so this varies massively but it can take anywhere between a few weeks to a few months it really depends on where you're doing your training and also how you want to do your training how long does it usually take to become a scuba instructor again it varies every dive center that offers an idc an instructor development course is completely different but usually how it works and how I did mine was I did my IDC over 10 consecutive days and then I took my paddy instructor exam over two days. Essential gear that's needed. When you become a dive professional, it is really a great idea to invest in your own scuba gear. You might have already got some of your own equipment if you're already a diver, but it's definitely a good idea when you start going into professional levels to have your own. So the essential gear that's often needed is BCD, your regulator, which is your first stage and your second stage, an alternate air source, your SBG and depth gauge. You also need a dive computer slash timing device, a compass, cutting tool, mask, snorkel, fins, an exposure suit that's appropriate for where you're diving, an SMB and reel, and also a surface signaling device, which can be visual, audible, so a whistle or maybe a mirror. How much do dive masters slash scuba instructors make? Okay, this is probably the most difficult question to answer. So it depends on the location in the world that you're planning to go to, but ultimately it will depend. Some dive centers would rather give you a fixed salary each month. Some dive centers would rather give you perhaps a lower salary, but let you work off commission. How do I find a scuba diving job? Best place I could recommend for anyone to look is on the Paddy job board. And that's because it includes jobs from all over the world. What are some of the most sought after specialties or certifications that can complement my training. I think it really depends on where you're based in the world and what type of diving you're doing. But for example, I dive with a lot of wrecks near me. So I did a wreck diver. I also like to go deep. So I did deep diver and also things depending on your location. So if you're diving regularly in cold waters, then I would say dry suit diver. But there's so many specialities that it really depends on you and what you're looking to get out of your training. What are the typical costs associated with pursuing a career in scuba diving? Okay, so as usual, you'll have your course fees and your certification fees. When you start to go professional, there will be some additional fees, especially once completing things like your dive master and instructor course. Every year, you'll then have your paddy fees basically which is for your membership renewal what are the potential job opportunities beyond becoming a dive master or scuba instructor within the scuba diving industry this is countless i think you can become involved in ocean conservation you could become a dive shop manager you could get involved in photography and videography there really is no limit to this question what environmental conservation efforts or initiatives can i get involved in as a certified scuba diver and how can i contribute to the protection and preservation of our oceans and marine life you can take the pledge today to become an ocean torchbearer i would also recommend to have a look on the paddy adventures app where you can see any local initiatives that are going on near you in addition to that treat every single dive as a cleanup dive i hope this has answered some of the questions you may have about becoming a paddy professional but remember we're always here to help so if you have any questions feel free to let us know and we will answer them